The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 426 pounds, Timothy Thatcher and Tommaso Ciampa. Hello folks, this is Lance Storm here with Tracy Torment as we're here. Yeah, we see Tommaso Ciampa and uh, Timothy Thatcher, but they don't know who their uh, opponents are going to be. All right, let's find out. Oh my God, Tom Waller? Is that Filthy Tom, uh, Lance? Yeah, it is. You better believe he's back. Oh my, nah, hell has just frozen over, ladies and gentlemen. Carl Fredericks and Clark Connors has uh, joined along with Phil Tom. Accompanied by Tom Are you? Oh. Laura. You know, if I was going to be a Benny man and say that Tom Waller was going to believe these guys are team filthy, I would have uh, said your line and would have bet it against it. Wow, Tom Lawler pulls a shocker. I wonder how uh, Mr. King's going to feel about this once he, uh, I guess, gets here later on tonight. I don't know. But right now, I'll tell you what, this should be an interesting matchup. I, of definite contrast of styles. Real contrast of styles, I'll tell you that much. Four, uh, four, season, uh, four great grapplers we're going to see here tonight. And Marcus is surprisingly saying he's feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, I guess I heard the respect that's grown between Tom Lawler and uh, Marcus King. I know they had a couple run-ins in the old WCW, but I, I guess I heard there was a little uh, admiration society between the two, definitely. Well, here we go. We got Clark Connors, and oh, what a beautiful hip toss on Timothy Thatcher. He's done it. Try to throw a haymaker right at Clark. Haymaker, I haven't heard that term in a while. Oh, there's another haymaker. Indeed. And right now you see Clark, he, he is a small guy, but don't let the size underestimate you. Oh no, definitely. And this is our opening bout here. Later on we got, I think we got about six title matches on hand here tonight. That is going to be something else. Yeah, every title's on the line except for the women's tag team title tonight. As we're going to be crowned new contenders come up in the match after this. As it will be Kiana James and Tiffany Stratton taking on Pamela Passion and Susie Slade. So we'll see who wins the next title shot against Mercado and the Marissa Soda. And, oh, look at Thatcher take down Fredericks. Well, Timothy, no doubt about it, he's no spring chicken. He's a grizzled vet. As this guy right here, Chiampa. And I'll tell you what, I found out a new tidbit about him the other day. What is that, Lance? He was trained by Harley Race also in his uh, tenure. I guess when he was released from uh, the land of Stanford the first time around, and, uh, he went to get something of his confidence back, and Harley Race was the guy that taught him. And right now, oh man, and uh, Fredericks, beautiful uh, turnaround on Ciampa. Oh, and he missed the, uh, look like he was going for an elbow, but he missed it, Lance. Yeah, it looks like he did, and right now, they're going at it. They're going in by count out, but uh, I don't know. Do they really want that victory that way? I don't know. It's going to be depending on what their philosophies is. Let's put it that way, and now... Tommaso gets back in there. Frederick, you, Carl better get back in there. What are you doing, Carl? There you go. And right now, Frederick saw, oh man, taking it to Ciampa. Oh, beautiful rocket kick. 
Rocket kick made famous by machine gun Carl Anderson. Indeed it is, and now we're gonna see a couple we're gonna see some world bulls in this one now. Tommaso and oh, only for a few seconds. Damn, I was looking forward to the uh, confrontation with Tommaso and uh Clark Connors. Oh, beautiful beautiful defensive kick there. Oh, and Clark takes him down. That was a beautiful takedown. Sure was, Tracy, no doubt about it. And uh, right now, oh, Thatcher gets unceremoniously thrown over the top rope. And oh boy. Oh, he tried going for a splash and he missed. Um, actually, oh wow. And look at, look at look, Thatcher going right after Lawler. Oh, come on, Tom Lawler wasn't even doing anything. And I guess Marcus is asking if he wants to, yeah, if they could talk after the match. And right now, I love, you got to wait for Lawler to get up. And uh, I don't know if that shows it's how turn his attention. Of course, it's not a disqualification unless Lawler would attack that's your our Ciampa. And right now, oh man, come on. You know what, Timothy, see? Right there, the art of distraction right there, I guess. Lawler didn't even do anything, but, uh, oh, wait a minute. Tommaso tried kicking uh, Lawler. Wow. And, oh man, Lawler didn't even know do nothing wrong, and the referee throws them out. What the hell? That's baffling. <laughs> that is baffling. I gotta admit something right now. Oh, look at that. Clark Grant taking Chomp of the school by with that high elevated backdrop. And now, Fredericks now in. Oh, nasty pending on backbreaker. And right now, Fredericks, uh oh. He is going to work on Chompa's knee, and you can tell. What, I think that left knee has a brace. Right you are, Lance. And that's not too good. And, oh, look at this. Oh, man. And, oh. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at that. And, uh, Thatcher now. Yeah, he did the job of distraction right there. And, oh. That almost looked like a fairy tale ending, but I don't think it was. Yeah, it looked like something like it, but not quite. I don't, yeah, not quite. I think double, it's a uh, like a double underhook face buster he uses. And oh, man. Rope assisted stunner by Ciampa. Now, what a way to start off the program here tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh man, and now Connor's in trouble. And now, oh, Tornado inverted DDT. And Ciampa going. Oh, look at that, Florex. You still you st you try doing it for an enemy territory, and look what happens. Oh, but he get. Oh, wait a minute, and oh, Connor's reversing. It. What the heck? This has been a heck of a matchup. Like I said, these guys, if you want old school grappling, you got with all four of these guys right here. Oh, you better believe it. The new show at MLB 22, interesting. Oh, gotcha. I'm gonna have to check it out. I think that's, yeah, I think I've seen a little bit about the feel of dreams. Oh, and Fred looks a big time chop on Thatcher. Ooh. And of course, you know who Thatcher's partner was in the uh, heyday of uh, good, uh, good old Walter, a.k.a. Gunther or Gunther or whatever you want to call himself. Oh, what a spine buster, wow. That usually spells trouble there if uh, Ferdix is, uh, if I think, oh, I thought he was going to set it up for the uh, Manifest Destiny, that inverted, D that big time Impaler DDT, and, uh, he didn't quite go with that. He decided to throw Thatcher over the top rope and out to the outside. Yeah, Carl, Carl with that nice slap. I know what you're talking about. When he uh, swatted uh, Thatcher right in the chest. 
Oh man, a break a break up error by Mr. Champa, but I think he's gonna pay for it now. Yeah, it looks like he's got looks like Mr. Uh, oh look at that and uh oh. Oh inverted suplex, but once again, tag team distraction. Carter's playing a part in distraction again, as you notice. And Fredericks now going to work, and now he's got uh, main event tonight, ECW World Title. Uh, ECW Rules, uh, Trevor Johnson ready to pick, get his shot at Chris Dickinson tonight. Yeah, Dickinson, he didn't, uh, he didn't want to wait. He's like, yeah, what, he's like, what the heck, let's go do this. I gotta give Dickinson a lot of credit, I mean. Yeah, Dickinson, he, he's in there day in, day out when he's 100% healthy. Even when he's not 100% healthy. And, oh, no. Thatcher's got him in trouble. Oh, man. Could, could Clark Connors tap out? Oh, looks, oh wait a minute. And look at that. Connors finds a way. Oh, I love the bridge. And almost, wow. This is getting near a four-star classic right here, Tracy. Indeed. Fans love a goodie. Even the ECW fans. And uh oh. We got Eric Tommaso and oh what a shoulder block. Road Warrior Hawk would have been proud of that. Butch Reed would have been proud of that. Both of them used their shoulder block during the day. Del Wilkes would have been proud of that when he was the Patriot. Oh, my gosh, he walked right into that. Oh, he got tagged right into that. Let me correct myself there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. Got to give it up. Got to give it up to, like I said, once again, got to give it up to all four competitors. And right now, oh, Connors with a clothesline. Knocks down Thatcher. I'm actually surprised Thatcher's not out of the game yet after uh, getting nailed with that in Manifest Destiny. That's one of the most dangerous and pale DDTs in the world. Yeah, made famous by Gangrel, used by people like Barry Windham. Robert Roode for one thing. And yeah, a lot of people love use Edge. Think about that list of people. And they have all won with that. And they have all won championships with that move. Wyndham won the NWA World Title for Muda with that move uh, in 93. He sure did. Fredericks has won uh, world titles and uh, U.S. titles with that. Let's say what it is. Yes, he has. Oh man, and Fredericks is just uh oh Fred, where is Fredericks going to now? Oh man and oh missed the elbow. And that may be trouble for uh Fredericks. Oh my gosh, he gets thrown over the top. And right now, Tommaso just drilling it into uh Fredericks here. Oh, man. And again, Fish is kicked in the back. Tommaso does not play. He's not all about tea parties and doilies. He's all about kicking and kicking, screaming and stomping. And right now, Fredericks. Oh, man, on the barricade. I hope he's all right. They are taking some brutal shots in this battle. I'll tell you that much right now. And oh man, Fredericks better get out. Uh, there you go. Gets back in her nick of time, and uh, he tried to get Tommaso to ch chase him out by he figured by sticking his uh, arms in there that uh, it would have been. But he changed his mind, and decided to go back in the action, and maybe not a good idea for Fredericks as he's just getting. Oh, wait a minute, but he comes back. Belly to belly, beautiful. 
We see a lot of great old school moves there that were used by the old schooler, basically. The belly to belly, Shane Douglas, Magnum TA. I mean, a lot of greats. Oh man, what a suplex on Clark Connors. And, oh man, oh. Was he, oh. I thought Connors was gonna go for a spear. Usually sometimes he likes going for that spear in that corner. This is one hell of a roundabout we got going on. In the words of the musical group, a group yes, a roundabout. Oh yes, and now Timothy that oh man. Thatcher going uh oh. Oh no. You know Thatcher loves trying to work on Wretch the arm for a submission. Oh and Tom Tommaso just nailed Fredericks in the face with that knee button. Once again, Connors, I think. Wow. I think, oh wait a minute, we're just turning it back that Lawler and uh, Marcus has shook, uh, has shaken hands. I guess uh, Marcus is okay, he's given the blessing, you could say. Oh, and Ciampa throws Connors off the top freaking rope, ouch. And oh boy. Yeah, what a way for uh, Connors and Fredericks to make their debut with Team Filthy by uh, Drawing these two grizzled vets. Grizzled they are. And right now, uh oh, here we go. Right on the arm, ouch. Man. Oh, elbow. Oh, and Connor, he was going for a finisher, and uh, that trip blocks it. Oh, my gosh. You know, I got to say, no matter what, whoever wins this should get. Oh, man, a jump on that trip, steal one. And I say steal one because referee was in the freaking way. You know what? You, are, you have nailed that correctly, I got to say. But nonetheless, Ciampa and Thatcher has been uh, nailing victory after has been nailing victories there. Even though they didn't win that four-way bout, but you gotta admit they won the two tag team matches they had. Otherwise, they have managed to latch victories. Here are your winners: Tommaso Ciampa and Timothy Thatcher. Wow. But you gotta give up the Connors and Fredericks, I'll tell you that much right now. They came on hell of a way to go and uh, you know I'm pretty sure we're gonna see I'm pretty sure we're gonna see all four of these men tangle again. Mark my words. Yeah, it is a shame. It's a uh, big victory for uh, Timothy and Tommaso, but a little bit short ended uh short handed uh vic a short handed loss for Connors and Fredericks even though they put in a hell of an effort. All right, let's get to the next bout here, folks. Here we go. We got the uh, Contenders Tag Team match. The winner of this matchup is going to go against the Tag Team Champions, Olivia Mercado and Marissa Salt next week. You got the Privileged, which is Timothy... Tim, I almost said Timothy. Tiffany Stratton. Let me... Let me correct myself there. I apologize. I don't want her coming over slapping me upside the head. You mean my future daughter? Yeah, she kind of looks like got the torment look. I could tell. Yeah, okay. And Kiana James, one of the most smartest statisticians in the uh, wrestling business today. Yeah, you know, I got, you, you know what? She's, she's up and up. And then, of course, she got managed by the, uh, veteran who's going to be wrestling Tina Pams later on tonight Genesis Electra yeah that makes for a uh, real interesting uh, trio right there but let's look at the other hand you got veteran Susie Slade ah uh, she's scum of the earth why you say that for you know 
because I hate the way that she always hounded me all the time. But you know, it's different. She's cheered by fans. She's still scum of the earth. Lance, get used to it. And then you got the pink-headed beauty, Pamela Passion. Uh, uh, Flamingo's assistant. Huh. I will have to check that out. I keep forgetting. You know, uh, I got some time uh, tonight, so yeah, definitely. I try to get these series as much as I can. You know, uh, out of character here for a moment. Uh, you know, with my uh, job that pays the bills and stuff that they, like that, I guess you need a lot of rust for that field. I'll tell you that much right now. But I, at least I got some time tonight, so I'm going to check it out. Definitely. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right. And I'll tell you what, right now, uh, this is going to be interesting. We'll see if uh, we'll see if Keanu James's stats can uh, add up to a victory and maybe a future title shot for herself and Miss Stratton. Very possible. Very possible. And there they are right there, folks. The but following contest they call the, is scheduled they call, for I guess they call themselves the Purge because they're beautiful. On the way and, to the uh, ring, rich, accompanied I guess. by Jen Of course they Isaac are. They earned everything. Alexia. Are you kidding me? Uh, you know what? Tiffany Stratton is uh, Daddy's little is Daddy's little girl. She, I guess Daddy gets her whatever she wants. And Keanu James, I mean... Oh, come on. Don't you be ripping on Keanu James. She's a genius. Well, she didn't look like much of a genius in her uh, latest matchup against Nikita Lyons. Nikita with a double K. Of course, she probably got the last lap at the end, but you know what? I don't, I don't think you want to mess around with Nikita Lyons. Oh, wow. That sounds interesting. The All Night Party, they call themselves. Susie Slade and Pamela Passion. You know, I'm going to have to sue them for gimmick infringement. Why is that? I'm the, uh, was it the Fixing Club or the original All Night Party? Wait a minute, you don't even, oh yeah, that's right, you own the Fixing Club name because I guess of, uh, yeah, of everything going, yeah, that's right. I forgot all about that. Yeah, you almost said I was gonna. You, you almost said I was. I didn't own it, did you? Susie Splay, Slade, one of the popular women from Brit, from the uh, from the from the great country of England, home of the Shockwave World Champion Corey Crichton, and I heard that rumors is uh. Later on this week, I think I think I heard he's defending his title against Adam Foreman and Primal Rage in the Cage. That's right. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. Real, real Resident Evil 8 action coming up from Marcus the King on his Twitch channel. Check him out on Marcus the King 41 on Twitch. 
definitely. And now Danny's little girl going out with the uh, with with the uh, with, with the punk rock uh, girl with the with the punk rock uh, rubble at what's her name uh, Susie Slade. Oh, and Susie Slade lays in a strand with a beautiful kick. And to answer everybody's question, no, Tiffany is not related to Edward Stratton. And she does have a brother by the name of Ricky. And she does not have a stepmom by the name of Kate. Oh, little Silver Spoons uh, comments. No, Edward owns that federation that's not even on TV they call Kickstart. Oh man, listen to you always putting a lane. I I thought you know I was like I was actually liking the humble you at the uh at the last few weeks and now all of a sudden you're turning back to uh the wicked the wicked stepmother from uh all those Disney movies. Plants, you know I can't be nice. And right now, Pamela Passion coming in, and oh yeah, let's see what the pink-haired wonder can do against the genius. And look, oh man, I'll tell you what, Kiana James doing a heck of a job catching uh, Pam Passion off guard. Nine shoutouts today. Wow, interesting. And Pam Passion in trouble now. Keanu James trying to stretch a oh. That does not do the forearm and elbow good. Yeah, no doubt. And Keanu James cannot get the pin and she's in she is in disbelief right now. I think that referee counted too slow. Aw, oh, come on. He, he can't he can't find that. What are you talking about? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, maybe he didn't. I I see he counted that correctly. Oh, look at that. A great trading a pinfall attempts by Keanu James and uh Pamela Passion. You gotta give it up. And right now she uh oh, here comes Tiffany Stratton. I'll tell you, uh, Tiffany Stratton seems to be like an Amazon or something like that. Good gosh almighty. Joey Votto, nice. Huh. I haven't heard that name in a while. Oh yeah, the guy that played for the Reds, yes. Oh! And Pamela, oh, and look at that, Pamela Passion, oh! I think she calls that the Sunshine Spear. Oh, let me guess because she's from Florida. I think that could be it. And now makes the tag to Susie Slade. And right now, uh oh, Keanu James is hanging on the apron. Oh, but oh, oh man, and Keanu James hit her head hard. Oh, I hope she's all right. You see what a reckless doll that Susie Slade is? Oh, jeez. Are you going to have to add insult to injury, aren't you, Susie? Oh, man. This is a wrestling match, not a crippling match. Trying to hurt the poor girl. And 2K at its best, as you've seen. Uh, oh, wait a minute, Susie Slade uh, had enough of Genesis left. I guess Genesis is melting off at her. That's not right. How is with all these people attacking managers? Yadier Molina. And Kiana James now. As Susie Slade ain't. As Susie Slade just got knuckled sandwiched by uh, 
can, a Greco-Roman knuckle sandwich. Greco-Roman knuckle sandwich. I'll have to write that down in my book, Tracy. You better give me credit for it. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Genesis just got... What the heck? You know, that's not going to make it good for her tonight in her title match. Zach Grinke. I remember that name, too. Definitely. A journeyman that played with a lot of great teams. I think he might have won a World Series or two, if I'm correct. And Pamela Passion going to work on Keanu James. Oh, slam right into the mat. Wow. And now brings in, uh, uh oh, here comes Tiffany Stratton. And no, it's not Timothy Lance. I, you know, I, I, I corrected myself on that. And right now, we're watching as, uh, Grayson Rodriguez, interesting. Nice. And right now, oh, and Pamela Passion, uh oh. Oh. And she calls that what a twist. Oh, almost. Are you kidding me? That would have been a big upset. And uh oh. Is she going for it again? Oh. Man. She knocked her out with that DET. You know she did. All night party more like concussion makers. They're trying to they're trying they're trying to kill everybody. They should call them the they should call them the reckless witches. And I said witches, I'm not gonna get the FCC in trouble. I'm not gonna get ECW in trouble with the FCC. Well thank you for your concern, Tracy. Jeez. And look at Tiffany all shaking it there, and oh my gosh. That could be, oh wait a minute, she's, oh come on, she's, oh man, almost, almost got away with it. But, uh, Pamela Passion finds a way to get out of it. Oh, and how much more can she take of this from the, uh, from this, uh, very arrogant tag team, and uh oh, ooh. Oh! Oh, right there, Keanu James. Well, to Tiffany got out of there. Keanu was with the back up there. I gotta give it up. O'Neal Cruz, huh? Anyway, oh! Swan time. And they get the, they get the victory, and oh, man. Well, Daddy's little girl just got pinned by Susie Slade. Damn it. What's wrong, Tracy? Did you have a bet on this matchup? No. Okay. You sound like you did. And that was a beautiful combination by Susie. There was that twist, that uh, tw kind of like twist of fate, and then uh, she would nail with that swan time, which winners. we didn't get to see. In, uh, and it looks like these girls may be in uh, revving in motion here if, uh, next week to get a shot at Mercado and Salt. Wiley Green, huh? Interesting. And that was a great matchup. I gotta agree with that. Coming up next, we got Josh Alexander, the walking weapon, to take on R.J. Lucas, the franchise. Oh, yes, the franchise. One of my favorites. Are you serious? Yeah, he's honest. And he's loyal. Oh my gosh, man! Are you? Oh, oh, why oh, is it because of your incident that you did years ago? What incident? We didn't do anything. Sure, you did. I think we know what you're talking about, definitely. I 
I think everybody knows uh, who uh, knows the history of uh, Musty Wrestling and uh, Shockwave really well. Well, you know what? That doesn't count here. It's ECW. Oh, like hell it does. I'll tell you that much right now. Al Kaline, wow. Whew. I remember that name, yeah. And uh, Brian Roberts, yeah. Very good second baseman for uh, Baltimore. Had a little smack in his bat. All right, folks. Get to watch Get to watch the franchise, R.J. Lucas. Well, if you like him so much, why don't you be down there at ringside? He says he's got this one. He says he could beat the Impact World Champion. The following contest is He says the Impact World Champion is nothing. Making what are you talking about? This guy is intense as, in, as intense can in be. Weighing in at 262 pounds, Josh, Josh Alexander is one of the very most intense athletes you ever want to see. He's got, he's got a devastating arsenal of moves that, uh, oh my gosh, man. I'll tell you that much right now. And right now, there's Josh Alexander right there. Ready for action. As we get to, uh, uh, there he is, folks. The, uh, the, the, what he calls himself, the new franchise. Is that the same tattoo like Shane Douglas has got? From New York. Yeah. Weighing in at to, uh, 210 he was pounds. He was so R -J happy about being Lewis. named the new franchise that he wanted to uh, give us dedication. Oh, my gosh, man. I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I, I would say K-Line, but if, you, uh, say if you're thinking somebody else, go with somebody else, man. I mean, K, I only think of K-Line because of basically, uh, I'm speaking out of character here for a second. Uh, basically, ha I have an Al K-Line card. Yeah. Yeah, so-called franchise. I agree. Back in the character here for a second. And here we go, folks. Should be a good matchup. The walking weapon versus the franchise. And right now, Josh Alexander going to work here. And, oh, beautiful snap DDT. And, oh, man, Alexander's playing on all cylinders here. Oh, man. Beautiful superfly type splash by the walking weapon. Come on, franchise. Oh man, no. Oh. How could you do that? He he just kneeled off uh, franchise with his own finisher. He sure did. That movie calls a Cleveland Crunch since he's from Cleveland, I guess. And RJ set it up. Oh man, Gord Buster. Beautiful Gord Buster. It kind of reminds you of Arn Anderson. And a big time elbow drop by RJ. Going to work here on uh, Josh Alexander. Now he's working on the arm. Uh, I think the fans are hoping that one too. I mean, Josh Alexander is well respected. I mean, even if you've seen his matches and impact, I mean. He's been an incredible world champion for those guys. Oh, wait, what's... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Did I just see a giant? Yeah. What the hell is... 
Oh my gosh. I think I know who that is. It, yeah, I think it goes by the name of Aziz. Yeah, we know who he is, definitely. No doubt about it. What the heck, man? And right now, oh boy. Alexander may be in trouble. He got caught off hand. Oh man, and uh, RJ cannot believe he did not get the pin on my Alexander. I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, Alexander's tough as hell. Let's call it what it is. And right now, oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. He got caught. I don't know, that's a good question. I'd like to know what he what is he uh, what is Aziz doing here, man? I'll tell you what, he has one tall drink of water. Oh wait man, Josh Alexander going on that ankle. Don't don't break his ankle, please. I don't think he wants to break his ankle. All he wants to do is make RJ tap. That's all he wants to do. And if, RJ, and if RJ doesn't tap, then it might be, you know, you heard that term. No, don't even say it. Tap or snap. Yeah, exactly. And right now, RJ going, oh, man. Oh, wait a minute, he's, uh-oh. Another core buster, wow. Oh, wait a minute, oh, man, oh, good gosh. Flushed him out with a super kick and now big time over in the heart. And he thinks that's going to be all and I don't think so. No, I told you, I knew that. You're going to pull out more of your weapons there, Mr. Franchise. Oh no, Fujiwara armbar. Good, neutralize his arsenal. That's how you do it. Take, a, take away his arm, the guy can't use his moves. Very vital point, Tracy. Very vital point. And right now, the walking weapon may be in trouble here. Good. Oh, man, he's working on that left arm. Trying to injure the guy or something like that? Oh, and a drop kick. Wow. You know what? I gotta give Alexander credit. That was a well placed drop kick. Oh, look at that. Fr franchise trips him up. Look at him acting all arrogant. He's got a right to. Oh no, he's. Oh, and Alexander fights out of Cleveland Crunch. Oh. oh man. What a move there by Alexander. Uh oh. No, no, don't get up, RJ. Don't. Oh, look at that. RJ blocks that one, too. And I guess so far we had uh, both of the guys kick out of each other's moves. Oh, wait a minute. He's, getting, he's going for it again. And oh, there's a Cleveland punch. And RJ Lucas gets away with the victory. With an assist by a C's. I didn't see anything. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't do anything. He just uh, all he did was just uh, come at ringside to watch the action up close. Good gosh, Almighty man! Are you kidding me? Here is your winner, R. J. Lewis. And R. J. Lucas saw. Uh, Gets a tainted victory, I gotta say. I gotta call it what it is. It's a tainted victory. There's nothing tainted about it. Aziz, like I said, was out there watching the match. How could you call it tainted?
You are so... You know what? You may be a Canadian wrestling legend, Mr. Storm, but you are so delusional. I don't think so. It was tainted, no doubt about it. Well, coming up next, we got an interesting matchup. Davey Richards against Brody King. ECW World Television Championship. Oh, man. This is going to be a heck of a matchup. Yeah, we'll see if Richard's technical ability can outlast the brutality of Brody King. I think Richard can be very brutal in his uh, technical skill. There is brutality in, tech in uh, technical skill, don't forget. Yeah, this one should be a fun one. Great contrast to Styles, no doubt about it. And two of uh, two wrestlers that everybody can definitely like, no matter what. Call what it is. This one should be a fun one. Question is who's uh, whose skills is going to get that TV tell around the world? The following contest will, is will an Brody extreme rules match. Or will the ECW uh, World Television Championship. And of course, Tracy has one put their back, I guess, to talk to the franchise. As we're joined out here by ECW World Champion, the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson, who's got a matchup against Trevor Johnson later on. How are you feeling about your matchup tonight to defend that title against a big guy like Trevor Johnson? You know, like I said, a champion never takes a day off. I'm going to tell you that much right now. And uh, Trevor Johnson, you have my respect. I'll tell you that much. I mean... You are a heck of an athlete. I mean, you knocked out a lot of great people in that one. Terry Funk and... I mean, even this guy right here, he managed, he managed to get in that top three where he can get a TV title shot. I mean, I mean, I, you know, I went against Davey Richards when I was the United Wrestling Network World Champion. And uh, this guy will stretch you to the limit. This guy will wrestle you to the limit. But, of course, I know I also... I know about him. I also know about the TV champion coming up in the ring right now. Yeah, you're you're very familiar, with Brody King. You fought against him. You fought against him and fought with him and violence unlimited. Brody King, I'll tell you what. You know what? This guy's made a name for himself. I mean, I like the company he hangs around with in AEW, but uh, you know, I guess he seemed like he hasn't brought him along with him. So, thank goodness. You know, I can give him, I can give him a degree of respect on that one. Yeah, tonight he gets to defend that TV title. Question is, will he walk out the TV champion? You know what? Too close to tell. I'm, I'm going to tell you that much right now. If the match goes longer, it might go to Richards because he's got hell. You know, he's got the cardio to keep up with it. If it's a quick smash and grab and beat down, it's got to go to Brody King. Like I said, I grew with Marcus on that one. This one's going to be a fun one. Like I said, this is like a version of what can happen with me and uh, Trevor Johnson tonight, definitely. So I, I guess in this case, I got to be a little biased and cheer for smaller guy. Louis, Missouri, because I'm, I am smaller than Trevor. 217 pounds, Dave e. I see he's a, I see Brody's here, and I also see that uh, also an, an interesting person that you have talked to before is here. Uh, 
Daniel and Garcia. Introducing the champion. Oh, Dan from I'll tell you what, Daniel. Weighing in at 346 pounds. The kid doesn't need being an ECW World he's, he's Television great Champion. He's a pure blood wrestler. Somebody needs to tell him that, definitely. And I and I too, he he's got my respect. I mean he helped me and Brody defeat uh defeat uh competition six man action and, and strong. I don't know, maybe I wouldn't mind starting up a little quick with myself and Brody and uh, maybe Dar uh, maybe uh, Daniel, maybe uh, Red Death himself. I think that could be a hell of a group. I wouldn't mind starting up one with uh, Davey and uh, the likes of Josh Alexander. I mean, Josh, it was a shame that he lost to, uh, he lost his so-called franchise. Of course, I guess when you got some foot goof coming out to the ring and, uh, Basically, uh, distracting you. I guess that would do it. Yeah, of course, I heard Tracy saying that he didn't do enough wrong. Just coming out there, you're going to do something wrong. Okay? That's what you're going to do. You just come out there, you're going to do something wrong. And I've got a feeling that Arj has got some diabolical plans with that monster. RC would never brought him in the ECW for nothing. You may have a valid point there, uh, Chris. Mind if I call you Chris? No problem, sir. You mind if I call you Lance? No problem at all. You got it. I mean, I don't like it, man. I'm sitting next to Legend. It's like future legend being a legend. I'd tell you that much right now. I'm gonna hope I could be a future legend. You know what? I'll, you, you know what? You got you got my vote. You got my vote of confidence there after defeating a superstar last week. But right now Brody is giving it to uh, Davy Richards here, and oh man, I'll tell you what, he's got a lot of power. I'll tell you that much right now, and oh man, I don't even want to know what the hell he's gonna do here. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> and he's able to do that easily with one arm. Oh, almost a pinfall there. Good gosh. I'll tell you, if the, even if Davey does not win this one tonight, I'm going to tell you what. Don't be surprised to see him back in a title chase because I, I could see him back in a title chase. Oh, man, right there. Look at that. Beautiful... Uh, Side headlock there. Look like you turn, turn, trying to turn the submission. You squeeze on the head long enough, you can do it. And I think this is an extreme rules match. They're gonna bring the weapons out. Holy cow! And oh man, ripping on an ankle. Wow. Bro, he's got technical skill. I'm surprised. You think a guy that brutal would just be using power moves? Instead, he he knows how to use those technical torture moves and I call him that when uh, you're somebody like Brody King oh beautiful squeeze oh he squeezes on that long enough I'll tell you what he's gonna weaken Brody's head and that's gonna open up for more damage I agree with you on that one Chris and right now Davey was thinking about getting a weapon uh, but he decides uh, to try to fight this uh and his own pace where he knows that he uh you know some of these guys don't even need a weapon they are the weapon i mean it's all depending on what you think it's gonna it's all depending on what stretch you go in there and uh davy might have it oh man that was close okay maybe a one count but it felt like it felt like there was an opportunity open and uh unfortunately it was only a one count but who knows maybe the second one might be two and he doesn't get that, I and mean, he gets it a third time. Might be champion there. And oh gosh. Brody King using his mass and strength. Uh, oh man, look. Oh gosh. Look. Oh. Huh. That's Brody for you. I'll tell you that much right now. And Davey was trying to grab a chair, you know. It. There's Echo in those settlements, and uh, Davey was trying to grab a chair, and unfortunately, Brody knocked out his hand. But Dav Davey's finding his way out of it. I'm gonna tell you what, Davey's got a lot of resiliency here, but, oh, 
question is how much his body can take. Oh man, here. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Nasty combo, and oh boy. I think he might be putting the end. He might be putting the end to this matchup. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, he couldn't get it. Wow. Baby, Baby just went dead weight on him and uh, prevented him. And oh. Oh no. Oh. This could be troublesome. This could be troublesome right here, and oh my gosh, man. Oh, but Brody has that upper, has that unbelievable strength. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at that. Ooh. Oh, I, man, I'll tell you what, I gotta, get, I gotta give it up to both these guys. Incredible matchup. Oh, beautiful jump, beautiful catch, throw up knee left, I guess you call it. Oh, and he gets it. Oh, bravo, Davey. Oh, he knocked the win out of Brody. Let's admit it. He sure did. I gotta give it up to Davey. Wow. Davey Richards has just won the TV title. Oh my gosh, man. And Brody gets angry, and that, you know, that's, you know, I think, uh, unfortunately, Brody is wrestling for free tonight. <laughs> oh, man. I'll see if I can try to console Brody King a bit here. I don't know. All right, Chris, talk to you later on. Good luck in your matchup against uh, the gamer tonight. I'm going to try my damnest. That was a big win for Dave Richards. And coming up next, we got Falls Count Anywhere Triple Threat Matchup. Anza Python says, bring me both Tony Storm and Candlelight. She claims that she's going to destroy them both. Yeah, referee did it. Just sure he did a massive right hand there. Well, good for him. Yeah. But nonetheless, I'm picking my girl Tony to win this. Miss, what's that move she uses? The bottle boom. Oh yeah, that move you're talking. I know what move you're talking about. Yeah, which is called the bottle boom. Okay. To, to avoid any trouble. And like I said, this is going to be one pinfall wins it all. But it's also going to be a false count anywhere matchup. That means no disqualifications and no countouts. You know what, Lance? This is going to be fun. This is so going to be fun. So did you talk to RJ about anything about that guy, big guy coming in the ringside? Yeah, I've, you know what? I heard, he, I heard RJ hired him as, as security. Oh, are you kidding me? He he's a great athlete. He he needs security. When you're as famous as a franchise, you do need security. Oh man, are you kidding me? My gosh. And here comes Tony Storm. The girl from the Gold Coast. You know, I'm going to pick her as my uh, person for her to win. Because nobody hasn't picked her. And the real wrestling fans don't know. About her. I mean, she's, she's an incredible athlete. 
I can see her. I can see her somewhere sneaking the pinfall and getting that victory. Of course, yeah. I mean, you should say, was it a? No, did she get married to Juice yet? No, not that I know of. I heard I'm invited. Well, lucky you, I guess. Yeah, lucky me. You better believe it. Oh, and here comes Candlelight. Yeah. And right now there is a TV champion, and Asna Python. I I was saying her name wrong. It, it's Asna. I'm sorry. You better get that quickly because uh, she looks like she she'll, she'll kick you uh, more dangerous than snake bite. Pythons don't bite; they crush. Well, she crush you. I guarantee you right now. She doesn't care if you're male or female. She'll crush you. And let's get this one going here. Like I said, first pinfall wins it all. All right, now look at that. Candlelight taking out Tony Storm. That's good strategy. Hopefully, then, uh, you know, Rima, and you know what the bad news for Asna is? She doesn't have to be pinned to lose the title. That is correct. And uh, I would think it would be more honorable for Asna to get pinned, but, uh, you know. But Tony Storm can pin Canelay and vice versa, and uh, that's, oh, man, look at this. Oh, at, oh, man. Are we playing a game of bowling there because strike? You better believe it is. Oh, my gosh. And right, oh, Python getting stomped by Candlelight. I gotta give Candlelight a lot of credit. She came close to winning that rumble. But she was outsmarted by a veteran like Genesis Electra. Let's admit what it is. Yeah, you're right about that. As a result tonight, Electra gets a face off against Tina Pams for the women's title. Now that was where Candlelight didn't take advantage of Python. Instead, she goes right after Tony Storm. Well, you gotta admit, Tracy, uh, Tony Storm, Tony Storm may be popular here, but she can be a little mouthy at times. Oh, yeah, definitely. We already had one title match, and already there was a new champion, and, uh, his name is Davey Richards. Yeah. Took the win out of Brody King with that knee. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, what an invert suplex by Candlelight. And right now, oh man, Candlelight is uh, a raging house of fi uh, fire here. Oh man, and it held on too long to Candlelight, did And now she gets scared for her troubles. She sure did. Oh, and then what a clothesline by Asna and... Uh, Oh man, right now. Oh. 
Going to Mud Hole City. What are you going to Mud Hole City for? Stomp a mud hole. Walk it dry. Oh, okay. Ha, got y'all one, didn't I, Tracy? Yeah, I gotta give you credit. Oh man, I'm Python in trouble and now, ooh. And right now, Python, Python gets up while Candlelight gets a meet, uh. Gets a meet the uh, turnbuckle there. Courtesy of Tony Storm. And right now, oh! One hell of a move there by Tony Storm. Oh no, oh. Oh. And a little fusion into a neck breaker. Beautifully done by Tony Storm. I gotta give her credit. And Tony Storm going to work. And right now, Tony, it's Python and Storm. Of course, you know that these two are probably still have a problem with each other after that. Uh, basically, after that mixed tag team match you had last week with Juice Robinson and uh, Powerhouse Hobbs made their show. Oh man, and right now Candlelight just getting just destroyed. Oh man. And Candlelight taking some beatdowns there and I didn't think Tony Storm almost had a pin there. And right now, oh, Candlelight sent, oh, but Tony Storm blocks it. Oh, and Candlelight comes back with her own block. Wow. Oh, man, and uh, Asna looked like almost she didn't want to go for the pen. Oh, and Python and Char uh oh, Tiger Driver coming up this way yet. And Tony Storm, oh my gosh, she just took the TV title. Tony Storm just took the TV title. Trace Gamet, you were right. Holy cow, you were right. Were I was um uh, I was right I was right. Here is your winner and new ECW Women's wow. World Television Champion. You know as those guys probably be going in you know, the you know, later on tonight the first thing in the morning she's gonna be calling uh, to uh, get a rematch. And that was an amazing matchup. Oh my gosh. Coming up next, Extreme Rules Tag. We are, uh, it is uh, Marcus and Price going to be defending those titles against the Gates of Agony. Lance, I'm going to tell you what right now. The Gates of Agony have just been freaking deadly. Tully Blanchard has found himself a, uh, tag, a hell of a tag team. Let's call it what it is. Indeed he has.
This is going to be interesting. Can Marcus and Price continue tag team dominance or will the Gates of Agony win those tag team titles? There's a good question right there. Who the heck knows? We'll find out. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Well, it's official, folks. Coming up uh, on Shockwave Wrestling this Thursday, Primal Rage in the Cage. Oh, it's going to be a good one. It is going to be a good one. And there you are, folks. Oh, this is a team not to be messed with. And just think that way. I mean, Jasper Khan was a member of uh, the Soldiers of Savagery with Moses when he was with uh, Shane Taylor Productions. I think this is a better business investment for him with this uh, monster Toa Leona. Oh, my gosh. This guy, I'll tell you what, man. Toa Leone, I'll tell you what, the guy is a beast. So far we had two title matches and it has not gone well for the ch defending champions. Marcus and Price Bear figure out a way to uh, break that streak or else they may be the next people on the list. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be one hell of a situation. And here's the tag team champions. This is going to be interesting. Question is, I wonder how uh, Marcus's knee is doing. I'm hoping it's going to be, I'm going to hope it's uh, a little bit better. It's going to be a heck of a matchup. I'll tell you, I'm right around, and uh, I'll be right back, Tracy. Oh, oh where are you going, Lance? Get, get a refill of my drink. Get a refill of my soft drink here. All right, better be careful there, Lance. Uh, don't worry, I will. And look, who, and look who's uh, joining me on ringside. And look who's joining me over here at the commentating table since he can't be down there is uh, Tari Blanchard. Well, thank you, there, uh, Tracy. Tell you what, and you're gonna look, you're looking quite gorgeous yourself tonight. I like a man who compliments me. Well, you're welcome. And tonight, I'm gonna see, I got a feeling there's gonna be a crowning glory here tonight as we got 
my team, the Gates of Agony, going against Marcus. I don't think Marcus is at 100%. I'm going to tell you that much right now. He, he can say whatever he wants, but uh, I guess we'll find out if this match is over. That's all we can say. Now, there you go, and Yeah, try to kick out him, Price. Come on, man. Try to take down that guy. Oh, I, wow, he did. I give him credit. I used to manage Price Sanders at one time. I know what the guy can do. Yeah, that's when you had that great group of Moore and Fisher and Evan Magnificent. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you that much right now. It's a it, it, it was a beautiful thing. No doubt about it. Oh man, right now, it, oh man, and Khan is working on that. There you go. Khan is like a shark. He smells blood in the water. I'm telling you, man. Oh, look at Leona, man. I mean, this guy's a beast. Both of them are, but I tell you, I told Leona. Oh my gosh, man. The most overlooked athlete in all of wrestling. A man of brutality. Oh, Price is fighting back, but he gets caught. Yeah, that's what happens. You're, yeah, it's two on one there. And right now, you see, uh, well, it looks like it's in the, oh. Oh, man. And Connie didn't feel, uh, did Connie even feel Marcus off? Hit him in the back? Well, yeah, unfortunately, he felt that kick. Come on, boys. There you go. Take advantage of the extreme rules. It is, but there are a lot of weapons. Use them. And you see that Price try to drop kick. He couldn't even nail. It. He could not even nail. It. He could not even take him off the ground. Can I give it up? Can I give up? No, I'll give it up to him. Oh, well, he did it with that one. Ah, he got a lucky shot. I got a mitt. Oh, man, and Leona gets all the move there, and uh-oh. Oh. Oh, stretch him out, yeah. <laughs> and there you go. Good job, Con, for having his back there. Oh. That was just beauty right there, that back suplex the uh, Mother Sanders on the outside. There you go. Go to work on him. There you go. Ah. Oh, man. What a splash. I gotta give him credit. I gotta give the kid credit. Oh. Con nearly kicked that kid's head off. Oh, he's got that world set on Leona. Oh, boy. It's a, oh, and Leona taps. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm giving the Kings price. They are, to, they are a strong team. But we'll be back up there for them. I guarantee you that much right now. I guess I had time to, time to console my boys on, guys on a loss, you know? Well, I'll talk to you later then, Tracy. See you then. Well, that was Tommy Blanchard who just got done talking here, and uh, unfortunately his men did not win, but the King's Price continues their dominance. And of all things, uh, all people, he made Toa Leona tap. Which I would never thought could happen. But no unless he did. Here are your winners and still ECW World Tag Team Champions. Uh, 
And Marcus is saying when the world ends, is locked in, it's 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 over. It's either tap out or I'm going I'm going to let go and pin you. And he made him tap out. And uh, there you go. Trying to get the next match going here on the road here as uh, more action still to come here. Coming up next, Terry Funk to go against Alexander Hammerstone. Oh, Lance, you're back in time for ha Funk and Hammerstone. Oh, yeah, this one's going to be interesting. Who's gonna win the young the young power, the old uh the old the, the the hardcore goat, I would say. Terry Funk. Dad he is. But this one's gonna be a good one. And I'll tell you what, I mean, let's talk about one of the most disappointing stories there is. Chaz didn't want to take up with his little boy, Adam, my son. What the heck was going on there? I don't know. You know what? I have no idea. I told you, I told you Chaz Foreman was always a disappointment. I, I told you, I told you that, Lance. I told the whole wrestling world that. He had a good reason. Yeah, what? The What's following the reason? contest is an extreme rules match. And it's yeah, you wonder, man. What is, what is the reason? United States Championship. And here comes Terry Funk, the hardcore legend. It is for the ECW North American title, Terry Funk against Alexander Hammerstone. Terry Funk was a runner-up in that rumble that he lost to Trevor Johnson, so runner-up got a North American title shot. That's what's going on here, folks. Yeah, so that is what's going on here. So Terry Funk, uh, he was the runner-up in that matchup, and uh, he that means that second-place guy got a uh, shot at the, ha ha at the champion Hammerstone, this ECW title, ECW North American title, and the third run and the runner-up after it, before that got a shot at the TV title, which was Davey Richards, and so far. We'll see if uh, at the Rumble, uh, the Rumble place uh, placeholders 
do uh, could go two for two tonight. So come tonight, we also got Trevor Johnson getting a shot at Chris Dickinson tonight for the ECW World Title. That should be a good one. And Dickinson, I'll tell you what, he's a he's a fighting champion. He says he don't want to take, he don't want to go laying back. I mean. He says the fans were promising he's, for him to defend that title against the other the challenger and he's doing that tonight. From Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 275 pounds, Terry Funky. Well, that's better than some of the and Federation champions. The champion. What's that guy in uh, What's that guy over in Stanford? Weighing in at 200. Well, you know the guy that doesn't want to show up for work? He is the ECW. United States <laughs> Champion. Are you, are you talking Alexander about double R? Alexander Hammer Stone. I could be. And here we go, folks. We got, oh, Hammerstone going, going, doing the same thing like Funk does, going rope a dope. That's a little unusual. You think Hammerstone? He's the he's the powerful wrestler. He's gonna go. Terry Funk's gonna be the one that's gonna do all the brawling and stuff. Let's, let's put it that way. And Hammerstone trying to put him away. But does not. Not yet, at least. And right now, Funk showing that old school skill as he's. Oh! <laughs> Junkyard does dog, dog style headbutts. Gets on all four and. Nails Hammerstone while he's down. Good strategy there by Funk. And right now. And I'll tell you what, I mean, unbelievable. Oh, and Funk now, go, oh. Oh, look at that, Funk. There's that, where that old school experience works for him. As he managed to dodge a uh, body slam attempt by uh, Hammerstone and arm drag him. Oh, this could be trouble for Hammerstone if he nails this. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh. Gotta admit, the old man still can do it. Almost, oh my gosh. Oh, here we go again, and oh, again. Oh, Hammerstone may be in trouble here. Your boy Hammer may be in trouble. He's not my boy. Is that what he says? Yeah, I guess that, yeah, I keep forgetting that is one of his uh, lines he likes using, definitely. And look at Hammerstone, getting a fit, trying to get the fans on his side, but it's pretty tough, I mean, it's got to be tough for the fans because they both like both of these guys. Believe me, this was Terry Funk from 40 years ago, Hammerstone would easily win the contest. And Funk right now having his arm wrenched in trouble. Man. Oh man, almost right there, and Funk gets out. The grizzled vet still got it. I'll be damned. Oh wait, man. Uh oh. Oh, does he still got it after that? And oh, Funk. Uh oh. 
Oh, man. There's a vicious pile driver. And that might have put him out. Oh. Are you kidding me? He kicked out a Texas pile driver? Oh, my gosh. Well, look at Hammerstone's neck. It is uh, thick as a... Uh, as thick as a steak. I'll tell you that much right now. Definitely for sure. Oh. And Hammer getting hammered. And that kendo stick. Oh, and a lucky drop. And again, another leg drop. Going for the pin. No, couldn't do it. Oh, and Funk rubs that boot right in the face of the Hammerstone. Uh oh. Funk asking Hammerstone to get up, and oh, yeah, he just hit it big time. Yeah, Terry Funk could not believe that kick out by Hammerstone. I perfectly understand that. I thought he had him there after that pile driver. Oh, he's going to set it up again. Oh, and he nails it. Terry Funk may be the oldest North American champion in uh, ECW, and he is. He just beat Hammerstone. Holy cow. I'm shocked. I didn't think Terry Funk had him to, to win the match, and he did. I give it up to Terry. I give it up to Terry Funk. Hammerstone gave a heck of a good fight at the beginning, but it was all Funk who, yeah, I'll tell you what. Here is your winner and new ECW United And Terry Funk cannot Champion, believe it. They Terry still win. They can still win. He's got the ability to still win a belt. It's always nice to believe, and believing can get you that. Definitely. Oh my god, man. Big win by Terry Funk. That was a great matchup, but I will agree with 2K22 on that. Coming up next, Genesis Electra against Tina Pams for the ECW title. ECW women's title. And it looks like uh, Genesis is going to bring her friends along. And it looks like Tina's got a couple allies in her corner. Oh my gosh, she is bringing the tag team champs with her. Olivia Mercado and Marissa Salt, the, the Silver Spoon Saviors. Oh man, this is going to get interesting. Yeah, you would think that, uh, you would think that, uh, what, what the hell is, uh, let's put it this way. You would think that after, uh, getting beat by Pamela Passion and Susie Slade that Stratton and, uh, Keanu James wouldn't want it anymore. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? They're, they're here to watch the crowning achievement tonight. They're going to watch Genesis Electra take care of Tina Pam's and become the new women's champion. I guarantee you right now, she will be the queen. But this night's over with. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll take your word on it, Tracy. Remember, who said that Tony Storm was going to win the women's TV title? I did. Oh, man, you do have a point. Yeah, I'm telling you. Damn right I have a point.
And remember, after this tonight, well, it will be the main event. Trevor Johnson getting a shot at the title against Chris Dickinson. That should be a good one. And you're going to get ready for a spout momentarily. Should be a hell of a matchup. I'll tell you that much right now. And uh, let's get this one going. Here we go. Genesis Electra against Tina Pams. Can Genesis pull off the big win, basically? The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the ECW World Women's Championship. And there you are, folks, the privileged. Tiffany Stratton along with uh, Keanu James and the person who's going to be wrestling Tina Pams momentarily. And that would be... Genesis Electra. And there's a champion right now coming along with uh, Olivia Mercado and uh, Marissa Salt as they got her back to make sure that Kiana and Tiffany does not do any trouble here. Introducing the challenger from Beverly Hills, California, Jen Isaac Alexia. Genesis Electra. And introducing the champion from Cleveland, Ohio, she is the ECW World Women's Champion, Tia Pamela. This should be an interesting bout, folks. I believe so. 
And I'll tell you what, by the way that the uh, matches are going here tonight, we could see a new women's champion. Yeah, you you know what, you're right about that because right now the only title that's been retained here tonight is the tag team titles. Let's call it what it is. And that could be troublesome for Tina Pams and Chris Dickinson tonight if they're not careful. Oh man, Tina Pams missed the uh, shoulder block big time, but she manages to get enough. Yeah, she manages to get enough resiliency to uh, get the move quickly on uh, Miss Electra. Yeah, you gotta give it up to Miss Electra. She uh, she does make herself really uh, beautiful in the, the matchup. I'll tell you what, right now she kind of looks like one of those pinup models from the uh, 1950s. And oh, Tina Pabs, what a move right there! That was awesome, definitely. I'll give it to the, I'll give the devil her credit. It was. I know you're not really too much a fan, of Tina Pabs. I never was a fan of the Bennett family, okay? Let's put it that way. I'm not going to, uh, like, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit there and, like, uh, was it be like, uh, every, every other vixen and, uh, make up with them, okay? Well, that's your point. Yeah, that's your point. That's their point. Yeah. And right now you got uh oh and going to break baskets and oh and again going to break baskets Electra and she of course uh as right now Tina Pams is now the one that's got to get back in the ring. Oh, and the challenger's got her going again. Wow. Oh man, right now Tina Pams is in a little bit trouble. As Genesis Electra uh, going to. Oh man. Six. And right now, man. Uh, oh. And, well, Pam's kicks out. Thank, yeah, Pam's kicks out at one. So she's still got a way to go in this one. Oh, man, and Tina Pam's now. Turn up the heater against uh, Genesis Electra. Oh, smart. That could be it. Oh, almost. She needs to nail You know, I got to get Tina credit. She needs to nail that burning hammer if she wants to put this one away. There's no, yeah, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Let's call it what it is. Oh man, right now Electra now turns up the, now she's got the uh, advantage going there. Oh man. Let's 
spin ahead to show Lance. I'll tell you that much right now. We're not done. We got one more big match coming up after this. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Oh no. Cantina Pams gets all of it. Did she go? She was near the ropes, thank goodness. Oh, and Genesis Electra has won the title. Good God Almighty. She's done it. Wow. You know, unless you're the tag team champions, it has not been a night for the defending champs. Let's put it that way. I mean, Olivia and Marissa did her job of keeping Kiana and Tiffany at bay, but in the end, Genesis Electra wins the women's title. Wow. Fans are not really happy with that one, I can tell you that much. You gotta believe that. Well, folks, coming up next, we got the main event of the evening. Chris Dickinson defending that title against Trevor Johnson. Should be a good one. Here we go. The Dirty Daddy against a Gamer. And I'll tell you what, here we go, folks. Get ready for this one. Definitely. All right, let's get this one going. Hey, little friend, how are you doing tonight? Wow. All right, we got Trevor the Gamer Johnson coming out here. See that he, uh, he, he's been a former Shockwave champion. He's been a very good one. I'll tell you how much right now. I mean, he's been a tough individual until 
A guy known as Dominus beat him. Oh, yes, Dominus, yes. But uh, you know what? He's got an opportunity to win the world title here tonight. He keeps his head on straight against uh, Chris Dickinson and basically doesn't roll the wrong numbers to basically uh, wind up... Uh, Losing his chance. And there is the ECW champion, Chris Dickinson. After defeating the mass superstar to win that belt last week, he's put it on the line once again. He says he wants to be a fighting champion, so uh, I guess he's going to start first against... Uh, Trevor Johnson, who won the Rumble, to be the uh, contender. And yes, he, uh, yeah, definitely. Say what it is, I mean, you know? Like I said, no, us, this should be a good matchup. Oh, and Dickinson chopping away on the gamer. And right now, uh oh. And right now, I'll tell you what. And Dickinson, man, giving a question here to Trevor Johnson. And Dickinson couldn't, only got a one count. Gonna have to do a little more than that, uh, Dirty Daddy. Oh, man. Did he hit him with a boot? Did he hit him with a face full of foot? Oh, that might be, a, oh, but look at Dickinson coming back there. Oh, wait a minute, and uh, Dickinson in trouble. Oh my gosh, Death Valley Driver. DVD. I'm not talking about digital video disc. That was the Death Valley Driver. One, one of the nastiest moves in the world. The difference between that and the attitude of justice is that that Death Valley Driver hits the head. It's called a driver for a reason. Oh, and Dickinson with a headbutt going for a pen. Oh, Dick Dickens got the challenger in trouble, and now, oh man, headbutt. Oh, where's Dickinson going to now? The top rope, and uh, uh oh. Is this going to be good for Dickinson, or... Oh, he does. Wow. No, Dickinson, Dickinson cannot believe he kicked out of that. Well, it was a bad... It was a cheap axe handle. I mean, let's put it that way. If Dickinson wants to put him away, he's going to have to use the uh, finishers. I agree. Oh, and Dickinson, oh, man, oh, that, that shot was hard, that it hit, hit Dickinson, and he won the pin the stairs. That may be costly, oh my gosh, for, uh, oh man, what's he going to do here now? Uh-oh, oh, is that kind of like what RJ uses? Yeah, oh man, almost. Oh, Ramza gets the stairs. And again. Blocks the clothesline that Dickinson was going to do. And right now, he can't seem to find the answer for anything that Trevor Johnson's given him. 
Oh no. Oh. 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 Stretchy, stretchy. Ah, uh, Dickinson gets out of it. And Dickinson in trouble again. Throws him back in as uh, now. Throws him in a. Oh, good God. Splatted him. And now that could be it. And Trevor Johnson wins it. Wow. We got a new ECW World Champion, ladies and gentlemen, and it is the gamer. Trevor Johnson has done it. Wins a Rumble last week, and now he wins the ECW World title. Indeed, he did, uh, Tracy. I'll tell you that much right now, and uh, man, what a matchup. Dickinson had going all the way at the beginning, and then all of a sudden, Trevor Johnson, you get him on that momentum. That's one runaway train you can't see. Here is your winner, Trevor Johnson. I'd like to thank you all for being there. And there's our, your new ECW World Champion. Trevor Johnson has done it. It was a huge win for Johnson, no doubt about it. I'd like to thank you all for joining us here tonight and for Tracy Torman and everybody else that's been here. Uh, I am Lance Storm and I hope you all have a great night of action on ECW. Good night, everybody.